job. What time is warranted to get here? Right now. <laughs> Operation Reunited is on and popping. Hey, Steve. Hey, ain't warranted. You look like Philip Michael Thomas two years after they canceled Miami Vice. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I know. I, I kind of haven't been myself since I lost Buttercup. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to watch the, the game with you. I, I thought you guys hated me. <laughs> I don't hate you. I hate you. <laughs> but I can't stand to see a man get kicked in the groin by love. <laughs> Besides, I kind of figured you'd bring the imported beer. <laughs> I'll put the Heineken in the fridge. <laughs> Steve! Oh, good, Cedric, you talked him off the balcony. Steve, I cannot believe that I have driven you to this. Why'd I have to be so fine? Now, Steve, you listen to me. There is somebody else out there for you. I mean, of course, now, she, she won't be as good as me, okay? But in time, you will learn how to deal with the pain. Flu's in me. Sam, what the hell did you tell her? You just told me to get her here. What, what is he doing here? This is a setup. Look, 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 Regina, just kind of look at it as emergency love or death to me. <laughs> Warrington, it's be a good time for you to start begging. <laughs> Warrington still does not beg. I'm leaving. Oh, baby, baby, please don't go, please. I, I, I can't eat, I, I can't sleep. My, my sporting waves have lost their luster. <laughs> Sorry about the waves, Warrington. But I can't forget what you said the other night about me being lucky. He ain't mean it. Tell her you ain't mean it. Yeah, I, I don't mean it. Honey, look, look if, if anybody is lucky, Buttercup, it, it's me. Warrington, look, giving me the car was a wonderful gesture, but I, I just can't accept it. I mean, it was way too much. You're right, you're right. It, it was too much. I, I, I'll take the car back. Honey, do you forgive me? Of course I do. No. Oh. Uh, I'll take a used Mercedes. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go celebrate over dinner. How about a nice French restaurant? Oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'll just tell the pilot to fuel the jet for Paris. <laughs> oh, oh. Have you learned nothing here? Regina's not interested in those superficial things. You better keep your big old head out of my business. <laughs> Going to Paris. <laughs> yeah. That was quite a sacrifice you made, dog. Well, you know, I don't really know what lies in store for Regina Warrington, but I know one thing. <laughs> my butt's gonna be soaking in a hot tub this weekend. <laughs> Regina said she had some kind of emergency here. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's fine. As a matter of fact, you just missed her. Yeah, she just left with Warrington. Really? Yeah, yeah, you know, I had a, had a long talk with the brother and told him, you know, that we being men of the 90s, we're gonna have to be a little bit more sensitive to our women. Oh, you said that? Yeah, yeah that's what I said. And then right after that, you know, we cried. <laughs> yeah, in a manly kind of way, though. Mm. Well, I'm not buying it, but I missed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want to pick up where we left off out on the back? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I thought we was watching the Bulls game. The game's on? Oh, I love the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, put on some popcorn. Throw me one of those brews. Uh, Rachel, have a seat right there, girl. 